Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Tina and today we are going to the Columbus Flea Market um, in Columbus, New Jersey. So it's been about two, two years since uh, I've been to this flea market. So my friend Michelle and I decided to take the trip down and uh, see if it was as good as last time. Last time was pretty darn good for me. I found a lot of great stuff. Um, so yeah, let's do a little shopping at the flea market and stop back here for the haul. Yeah. $10. I got $10 so far. Ah, see how to keep going, keep going. $1. Huh? <laughs> One dollar for brand new clothes, that's not bad. They, they, like, they like the test over there, that's the Cute. How much is this? Ten? Patel is my cardiologist. Patel is my cardiologist. Oh, little doggy. He's been glued. How much is your bowl? Ten? Hmm. Holy moly, these are priced up. Hi. Some of these books look kind of interesting. She said three dollars for this set. I'm getting these for five bucks. I'm gonna put these in my cart. Neat. I'm gonna look around, but I am gonna get the shoes. Waterford. Must be a little tiny taper candle holder. A little Waterford baby boot. These are not marked. Now I got more piles. I got all this little stuff piles up and I never have anything to put it in. I never know what to do with it. Nice little decanter. Oh, some long burger. Little tie ons. What we can do when we get lost. Interesting little stands. This cart is kind of a pain in the butt. Just have to leave it. Some some booze over here. Those are very interesting bookends. It's like paper. Uh, 
Whose is this? How much is your platter? Five? Three dollars. Three dollars sounds good. I'm getting it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five for the two, huh? They are pretty nice. cool looking. Yeah, right? Colorful. <laughs> How about the forks over there? How much are the forks? Five a box. Five a box. Five Looks like it might be draw designs. It is. It's chipped. Yeah. Oops. I'm going to put the platter in my cart. Seafood forks. Rialto. Blue site and stainless. on both of them? Yeah, we got to get that. We, I don't know if we can get that. So. This is really neat. How much is this? I'm looking at for 25. I thought I sold one of them for 100 in an auction, actually. Really? This one's signed? No, it's not. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, is it? I, I don't see any signature on it. Yeah, I, I found this before. I sold one of them for 100 bucks in an auction. It's Just really neat. It box, it's beautiful, yeah. Kat. Yeah. I really like it. Give me four bucks. How much is the first, Kevin? Well, that one will take 50. That's a really, really good Let's scoop this up for $20. This thing is so cool. <laughs> Somebody doesn't like my cart. This thing is super cool. I thought I could feel crazy too. I just sold the game used to. Nickelode. It's interesting. Oh, there's a sign too. Yeah, I. Oh, okay. I was gonna say they are signed on the bottom. How much you asking for them? Oh, okay. They are. They are. They are really cool. What about that egg? That's pretty neat. Was that another like studio piece? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. The prices that are on everything, uh -huh. don't pay any attention to them because oh. I'm marking everything down. Oh, are you? Okay. The other stuff was in my shop over four years ago. It was packed, I just put a couple of boxes out here today. Oh, okay. And I'm marking it down and it's going fast. That's beautiful, fancy. It is beautiful. How much are you asking for it? What is it for? What is it for? I left the tag on the back of the yeah. This was in the matter. How much is it? I'll do 40 on it. Yeah. Okay. Good price. In 10 more years, it'll be an antique. Right, right. What about the what about the lamps here? Oh, 95 for the set, How for the pair. Are they? 95 for the pair. How about 50 for the pair. They're fitting. Yeah. They're fitting. Yeah. 45 for the pair. 45 for the pair. All right. I might I might get those. I'm going to I'm going to think about it. Oh wow, thirty more boxes. Well, we were in the fairground over there, and they closed it. We had to move out. Oh, I see. Okay. The guy wanted it for his business. Right, right. Do you have any of like the little animals, the little animal figurines? Yeah, but uh, so much of it is packed. Right, right. Out here this morning. Oh wow. They marked the boxes, but I have to get to all the boxes. Mm -hmm. And I can get to a few of them. Right, right. Because they're stacked on top of each other. Oh wow. But they did a nice job. Do you have anything else you're putting out today or just whatever's out here? Well, there's more glasses in this box here. Gla like what kind of glass? Oh, this kind? I didn't, I didn't bring it. I didn't, I didn't uh, unwrap all of them. Oh, uh, but are they all are they all like this style? Do you know? There's some ruby and there's some. All right, guys. So let's get into this haul. Um, definitely did not find as much as the last time I was here. Uh, but it was still a lot of fun. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It ended up being in like the mid eighties by the time we left there. Um, it was, it was hot, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Um, I did take a pull along cart and I didn't thoroughly enjoy that, uh, experience, honestly. Uh, it was nice to not have to keep making trips back to the car, but honestly, that wouldn't have been such a big deal to me anyway, uh, because the cart was a little bit of a pain in the butt to navigate. Like people were actually getting mad. Um, and I was trying to keep it out of the way. I was leaving it like at the end of the, you know, I don't know, the row or whatever. Like I wasn't trying to bring it in so people couldn't walk, but you know, there were some people that got behind me and like they couldn't figure out how to walk around. I mean, come on. So anyhow, did not thoroughly enjoy the car experience or the wagon, whatever you call that thing. Um, anyhow, it is almost a two hour drive to this flea market. So I don't think that I will be going anymore this year, but like I said, it was still fun. Um, but I definitely, I definitely prefer my local flea market, which is like 10 minutes away from me. So I think I'll be sticking to that one. Anyhow, let's get into this haul. Today was a lot of unidentifiable glass. <laughs> it was the theme of the day. Okay. And also the shoes that I did pick up, I paid two for five, 250 a pair. They're in the garbage. They're not even in this haul because not only should I have done a bend test, I should have done a peel test. The soles were actually peeling away from the footbed. So they went right in the garbage. So you're not going to see those in this haul. All right. Anyway, got a little squish mallow. He's a little tiny guy, little Murray, um, still with the tag. He was a dollar. Not going to get a crazy amount for him, but he was a dollar. Uh, another dollar item I picked up. I thought this was really cool. I picked this up at the same table. 
I don't think I was filming at this point in time. Um, I was just trying to navigate that wagon and <laughs> and the heat <laughs> and everything else. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I am so happy that it was beautiful weather. It just, you know, it takes a minute to get used to it. It was like freezing cold one day and then it's 85 the next. So you're like, whoa. Uh, anyhow, definitely happy spring is here. But this is super cool if you ask me. It's a little gourd ornament. It's made in Peru, it says, handmade in Peru. And it's got like a little nativity scene inside of it. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'm gonna list that for yet. Uh, I'm gonna do a little research and see what these, what these guys go for, but you know. All right, then I picked this up. Where's the lid? Now this, this brand, this is a brand that I learned about with my one estate sale video from back in September where I left this whole blue and white set. Um, at the time I was not familiar with this, with this Russian brand. Still don't know how to say the name. I'll try to pop it up on the screen. I'll pop comps of this up on the screen, but since since learning about this brand, I have picked up one of the blue and white teapots at the local flea market, um, an indoor flea market that is usually not worth going into, but I did go into it and found this teapot and I flipped that for like 60, 65 bucks maybe. So I've never seen this pattern. It looks like a rooster or a chicken. This is the marking on the bottom, but it really has, I don't even think that's like the initials of the brand or whatever. But anyway, like I said, I, I will pop that up on the screen. So this little, this little individual teapot, I guess you would call it, um, should do pretty well. Like I said, I'll pop a comp up here. Um, probably already did. Uh, this was $8. Okay, then, I paid $2 for this. This is that When by Chaz Dean. It's a fig cleansing conditioner. And I think this should go for like maybe 25 bucks. Uh, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. This I thought was awesome. Uh, I did pay seven for this. I paid up for this a little bit. And I think now off the top of my head, again, I cannot remember the maker of this, but... Um, I think it should bring like maybe $25, dollars $35. So it's got like this kind of troll face on it, like a little sun creature on the back. I don't know if that's, a, I don't know what that is. And then inside there's this little guy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but I thought it was super unique, super cool. Um, yeah. All right, then this, I love this piece. I think that this is awesome. I paid $20 for this. I paid two for this, if I didn't mention that. Uh, I paid $20 for this piece. Min was asking 25 um, and I paid 20. Now, the bottom looks like it may have a very faint signature. Uh, this appears to be made by um, the artist Stephen, Stephen, I can't remember. I will pop that up on the screen. I'll pop his name up. Um, but yeah, this, this piece is just so cool. And I'm going to shoot for like 90 bucks, 99 bucks on this guy. So I'm get a closer look here. It's a really, really unique piece of art glass. Um... I did find something similar, but the signature was much more prominent. It seems very faint in this. You probably can't even see it on the camera. Um, anyway, it's just so unique. I just think it's really a cool piece. Um, so it did take me a little searching to figure out what that was. All right, this I still don't know. I still have not been able to find it. So if you guys know anything about this piece, drop it in the comments. Uh, the woman told me that it was French. 
Um, not sure, but I ended up paying $15 for it. So it's kind of like an oval. Would you say that's oval? Like a, I don't know. It's a vase. Uh, anyhow, it's got like, it's got like these trees that have like an iridescent quality. I don't know if you can, yeah, I guess you can pick that up on camera. It's not really, it's not like etched, but it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. And then the back, the back does have some very lightly etched birds. And then on the base, there is a signature. You can see that right there. So yeah, I do need to do more research on this and try to figure out who made this and what it's worth. But um, yeah, so if anyone knows anything on this piece, drop it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep researching it before I get it listed. I just thought it was super cool. Uh, then this right here is a Peggy Carr piece. You guys know I always pick up Peggy Carr and I actually feel like I may have a piece of this listed, but in a different shape, a different size. So I'm gonna have to check that out, but I did pay, um, I think I paid $3 for this, I wanna say. I'm honestly not quite remembering. Uh, I don't know. And I got it at the same spot. I mean, this was, this was four days ago that I was there, five days. I, it was a very long weekend. Uh, I also picked these two up. These are Lucite and Stainless Cocktail Forks by Rialto. Never heard of that brand for flatware, but yes, I just thought these looked really cool. I ended up paying $4 a set, basically. They wanted five a set, and I asked him if he would take eight for both, and he said yes. So basically $4 a set, and I have two of those. So yeah, that that is my flea market haul. I did get some unique items. I got some very cool items, if you ask me. Um, and then we did stop at a um, like an upscale kind of thrift on the way home, which I did not film there, but I did pick up, I did pick up this. I, I was like, I said to my friend, I said, it was definitely like an art glass kind of day for me. It, like total theme for the day, right? Uh, anyhow, this is Costa Boda, Costa Boda, Costa, I don't know however you pronounce that, but, um, these little vases don't always go for a whole lot, but this has a very unique um, etching in it. It's a little girl playing with a ball of yarn, like with her cat. So that is a rarer kind of, um, a rare, more rare, like this is like a little tiny, like bud vase, I guess. But yeah, due to that, engraving I'm gonna say like 40 50 bucks on this and I paid eight for it so that engraving can mean a lot with this particular small shaped uh vase so that was my day Thursday and that's the haul so yeah that's gonna wrap it up guys I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up uh, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.